Hello everybody, this is Mr. Limba. You are on the Mr. Limba channel. I apologize, I've been gone for a little bit. Been a bit under the weather, I probably still sound sick, so I apologize for that. Hopefully some of the classicals in the background could uh, ease that off for everybody. Today's topic is the loudmouth woman. So my brothers gather around, it's time for us to talk. It is classical men's talking time. The real classic men. Us. Men with visions, aspirations, dreams, hard working. It's time for us to sit down and have this conversation. A lot of you brothers are real educated men. You may not have a high college degree, but you are a man of wisdom and a man of of knowledge. You actually read, you're informed, and to put it simply, you got your shit together. That's the best way I could put it. The bold way. You got your shit together. But many times, the kind of woman you are involved with is what they call the loudmouth woman. The woman that refuses to let you speak. The woman that every time you open your mouth, she open hers. See, a lot of times we have women who are college graduates. And this goes once again for men of any nationality. Men of any nationality, any race, this goes for you. Um, Though I'm speaking directly to my brothers. A lot of times we as men meet these uh, educated women. These women with college degrees, the pastor's daughter, the rabbi's daughter. However, she is still loose in the mouth. The problem is, as men, we need to understand when you are picking a woman. When we are choosing women, we are choosing women that represent us. This is very important. Your woman is an image of you. Your woman is a a version of you. So, when you pick a woman... And she does not know when to remain silent. She does not know when to not contradict what her man is saying. She is quick to shut you up. She is quick to let everyone know that she is the smart one in the relationship. You have done a grave mistake as a man. You have chosen the woman that will destroy your life. See, a woman with a loud mouth, the obnoxious, loud, angry woman, the one that wants to tell you what to do all the time, will cost you a job. You can't bring her around your boss. They may look down on you after meeting your wife, after meeting your girlfriend, Because for some reason, they are now wondering, for some reason, you chose a woman that does not match you or your class. You see, men, when you pick a woman that is not in the same mindset as you, a woman that does not understand 
her role in the relationship. She does not understand that if a man is the leader, she must be the follower. You're talking to your boss and you introduce your wife and she wants to cut your boss off. She wants to bring her sexist comments which are labeled and in, 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 in hidden under the title of feminism. Um, your boss does not view that highly. And your boss starts to look at you as a person that that is not up to par in every aspect of his life. Because your personal life can easily reflect who you might be in your business life. Who you might be in your professional life. Because a man that cannot control his home. Most likely cannot control anything else. Now this is real knowledge. It may seem very simple. It may seem very basic. But this is real knowledge. When your woman cuts you off in front of your children, she is causing you to lose respect in front of your kids. When you try to explain something to her, and she goes, oh yeah, oh yeah, so that's what it is, huh? No, 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 be quiet, be quiet, because you're wrong, because you're wrong. And you've seen women do that, especially the sisters. And the white men, you guys are not off the hook either. We've seen your women have you walking behind them, carrying everything in the shop. She doesn't care if you're happy, if you're not. She's bossing you around, telling you, get over here. Get over here, Johnny. Like you're her son. That loud mouth woman you have. Yeah. She is a problem. The loudmouth woman is the cancer to every man. The loudmouth woman will destroy the family. She will destroy you in front of your business partners. If you are a politician, she will destroy you in front of your constituents. Your voters will not have a high respect for you if your woman cannot respect you. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You all dated that woman who wouldn't let you speak. That woman that feel the need to let everyone know you're the dumb one. Why do you insist on dating women that has zero respect for you? A woman should be silent. Yes, I said it. And if you are a feminist, sit down. This channel is not for you, but you can learn something. Because you guys are in need of dire teaching. In dire need of teaching. Excuse me. Now, what I mean by a woman should be silent. A woman should be silent because she is the soft figure in the relationship. But when she does speak, it should be so rare that everyone sits their butt down and listens. When a woman is just a loud mouth, she loses value when she speaks. Her words hold no value because she's always yapping. She becomes a chihuahua. Everybody ignores that little yapping creature. But when the big dog speaks, and the big dog really does. Everyone jumps. Yep. Yep, yep. 
Let that sink in. You gentlemen say, well, you know, I have a woman. She's responsible. She doesn't cheat. She holds a job. Maybe she have a college degree. But as a man, you cannot prosper with a loud mouth, uncontrollable woman. And I know all the women that are unlearned, those with no wisdom are out there going, oh, so you need a woman you can control and manipulate. Whenever a girl speak like that, don't date her, don't marry her. Because she has no understanding of family relationship principles and how it's supposed to be organized for it to function properly. A woman should be silent. She should be soft-spoken. But when she does speak, it should command a lot of respect. The loud mouth woman, I cannot emphasize it enough, will destroy you. And I'm saying this a lot because we men don't listen. The minute we realize she got that nice booty, nice tits, pretty lips, we forget that the only thing that that leads to is a great orgasm. It turns you on. It may give you pretty children because she's a pretty woman. But what good is it when your children are not with you? When you cannot discipline them the way you wish to because their loudmouth mother is always in the way or her loudmouth mother got up and left you or his loudmouth mother wouldn't let you make him the man that he should be. The loudmouth woman does not know how to call you to the side and have a conversation with you quietly. The loudmouth woman doesn't know how to say, excuse me, I need my husband for a second. Um, if you'd be so kind, he'll be right back uh, really soon. Excuse us, please. The loudmouth woman do not understand these things. The loudmouth woman just walk up to you in the middle of your conversation with your colleagues and say, Jason... What the bleep did I ask you to do? Then everybody suddenly got the sipping hand where everybody just starts sipping on whatever they were drinking because they don't know what to make of it and they're trying to turn and move around. Why do you men tolerate the loud mouth, insolent, rude, obnoxious, unladylike woman. Your woman needs to understand the power of silence. And I wanted to bring that to your attention. My brothers, my white men, Asian men, Hispanic men, East Indian, all men need to understand this. The loudmouth woman will destroy you. You're talking about a woman that does not know when to speak, when not to speak. She could get you killed by the cops. The police pull you over. All you had to do is give your license, give your registration, proof of insurance, get your ticket, and be on your way so you can pay the fine or fight it in a car or the court of law where you cannot get beaten by a cop, shot by a cop, or anything of that matter. But your loud mouth woman had to say something. And as a result, you got beaten, you probably got shot, you probably got arrested. Gentlemen, I hope you learned from this video. I may even do a part two. Leave the loudmouth woman alone. Hope I didn't sound too bad. Subscribe. This is Mr. Limba. Peace out.